Uh, we might tap in on some battle rap soon, man. Oh, hey. Ah, yeah. I, I, we may I, tap I'm in on get some into, battle rap get soon. Into so. that? Yeah, so. Okay, yeah. I've been thinking about it. Shout out to Mount Fish and Headhunters. Um, just trying to. I love hip hop, bro. Remember me getting that Fago from that one stop? I'm like, hold up, nigga, wait up. I just got one stop. I would cut through Mission College just to hit that one stop. Mama blowing up my pager when she heard that one shit. Yo, what's up, people? This your boy, Black Sheep Blaze, and I'm rocking with Ty with the Waves. It's a bar. <laughs> yeah. It's always a bar. Bro. Blaze of the Waves. <laughs> it's always a bar, bro. Always a bar. Uh, you always give me titles too, bro. It's yeah. a bar. Like now it's always a bar. I gotta yeah. play that to something. Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah. No, How you doing, no. man? Doing well, man. Welcome back. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. We're yeah. here, we here. Bless. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, man. You know, glad you're here. Uh you can, you know, it's been a minute, so give yeah. the new viewers an intro into yourself, you know, who you are. Yeah, well, I go by the name of, uh, my artist name is Black Sheep Blaze. Um, from North of Virginia, um, Park Place area, home of the killers, you know what I mean? But uh, I'm an artist, I've been doing this music thing for quite a while, you know what I mean? Um, always on some motivation type, bring to reality type music, you know what I mean? So. Um, you can follow me on at Black Sheep Blaze on Instagram, uh, Zoe Foreman on Facebook, uh, music streaming everywhere. But that's to sum it up, you know what I mean? Mm. We've been here before too, man. Yeah, yeah, been here, getting back to it. Yes, so, sir. Yeah, you know, um, like I said, welcome back. Uh, so I know it's a lot to get into. Yeah. And, you know, so what was the origins of the the black sheep blaze like add that component to to the to the name. Yeah. Perfect question, man. We um like me and the people I, you know, work with or whatever, we uh I found it when I when I did Legacy, which was my first debut project, I would look up my name and it was just strictly blaze and, you know, half the time I couldn't find it. You know what I mean? Half the time I couldn't find it because it was like so many blades. You know what I mean? And I thought at the time it was unique when I originally had it. So I just added the black sheep method to it because just of what I, the, the represent, representation of what I do anyway. You know what I mean? Um, I had I gave you guys black sheep volume one, my mixtape. And um, that was basically to give you me. You know what I mean? Uh, and when I say black sheep per se, I don't mean like in a negative way. You know what I mean? I stand out, you know what I mean? In a way, in my own way. You know what I mean? And um, sometimes you can you can mistake me for a goat. You know what I mean? That's why if you look at my logo, it's like, it, is that a goat or is that a black sheep? You know what I mean? It's like, you know what I mean? So um, um, I, I, I preach that method and I just put that in front of my name because that's what I represent. You know what I mean? If you feel like you're an outcast, then you're a black sheep. If you feel like you're different, you're a black sheep. You know what I mean? So that's, that's, that, that, that's the uh, method behind the name. You know what I mean? Adding a black sheep blaze to it, along with being able to type it in and it pops right up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. it's not many black sheep blazes out here. So. Uh, yeah. So I also got to say, man, with that jersey on, you are different. <laughs> and I was really, when I see you pull up, contemplating canceling this interview. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, bro, I don't blame you, man. Hey. <laughs> I'm here to command it though. We're the commanders now, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Call command respect. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know you. You probably a Dallas fan, so it's I, all love. It's, it's all love, man. It's all I, love. I was hoping I ain't come out on camera because, <laughs> man, and we putting plastic. Uh, I mean, paper bags of rock faces too. Yeah. I mean, I'm wearing it proudly. Yeah. And that's how I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah. So, but yeah, man. Um, you know. Just also with the music, like, you know, I like what you said, just representing being different and, you know, pushing that narrative, especially uh, just with, you know, a lot of carbon copying. So, yeah. you know, what does that individuality mean to you in terms of like how you go about, um, you know, curating your music? Well, um, I always felt like I had a gift, like as in, in any artist. Everybody, I feel like we all at strong suits at what we do best. You know what I mean? Anybody, I feel like anybody these days can put words together. You know what I mean? It's, uh, I'm, I'm, 
more focus on what I do best. And I feel like what I do best is like my flows and my cadences and you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm constantly working on things like that and I'm constantly working on uh, ways to just paint my picture. I look at each each project, each song that I do as like a, a you know, a canvas, you know what I mean? And I, and I can splash paint up there, but it's it's not special until until I until I do something different to this painting. You know what I mean? Uh, it's like a, a default character on on a game you play. You know what I mean? They give you a default character, and you make you make that character how you want to make it. You know what I mean? And that's how how I attack anything that I do. You know what I mean? It's already set up for me to lose, so I'm gonna try to critique. You know what I mean? Get into each crevice to you know, win and, and learn from each L that I take, you know what I mean? So when it comes to the music, man, I just, I put my head down and I, I just do what I do best, you know what I mean? That's why it's kind of hard for me to a little bit explain it because I just, I do what I do, you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's different, man, I'm telling you, it's different. Right. And that's just, that's why I feel like um, I go by, go back to the black sheep thing I don't really think about, I used to think about the audience, you know what I mean? I don't really think about the audience anymore. I'm at a comfort zone into where I'm putting my head down and I'm getting good results, you know what I mean? So when I start trying too much, man, the people hear it, you know what I mean? The people hear it. Yeah, I tried it before, man. I try, you know what I mean? The people yeah. hear it. So I try to just put my head down and do what I do best, man. I know what the people like and I got a unique fan base. So over the years, we've been agree to disagree you know mm -hmm. what I mean <laughs> yeah yeah and you gotta go through them you know ups and downs and figuring out what your lane is yeah um cause I like what you said about you know just alright you found out what your sound is mm -hmm. don't think about the audience and it's like somebody else is gonna replace the five people that left it's gonna be ten more people that's rocking that's with that's rocking with this exactly what I'm doing. you know that's yeah, what makes you yeah. that's what make all of us unique you know what I mean the listeners are like us, you know what I mean? We we are consumers as well. So what I like in musically, sonically, it's not what everybody else like, you know what I mean? So it goes it goes on both ends, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, how has your sonic uh, taste grown, you know, from when we last sat down, like to, you know, what you're putting out now? <laughs> right, it, it's grew, it, it definitely grew. Um, we in a space, man. I feel like the pandemic um, has put us put us in a space to where um, I said this in my last interview, man. You gotta sometimes you, you sit down and you get a, you get a chance to pay attention to things that you probably wouldn't had. You know what I mean? And um, I was always the my set of artists that I listen to, the conscious bass or whatever, whatever. But I'm starting to find art in all of it. You know what I mean? And everything. Things that probably wouldn't capture my ear, like artists and music, styles of music. I listen to Guilty Pleasure, a little drill rapper every now and then, and that ain't, you know what I mean? That Last year, two years ago, you would ask me that. No drill rap for me, you know what I mean? But that's a little Guilty Pleasure at times, man, because you start to see the art into in, in everything, you know what I mean? So it's definitely grew, and it's, um, it's, 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 help, it's, just, it's still helping me to grow as an artist and expand and work with other artists you know what I mean? To see it from all angles, because we all, it's all music. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's all music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So speaking of the artists, um, you know, how has that been for you in terms of like, because that can be a task. So like somebody has a certain sound and, mm -hmm. you know, you opening your mind and accepting that and y'all trying to curate. So how's that process just, you know, figuring out who you want to work with? It's a little difficult. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little difficult because uh, I'm more based on on relationships too. You know what I mean? So it's never, I hate when people always say it's just business. It's never really just business if you are invested in, into what you're doing. You know what I mean? It's always gonna be a little personal, you know what I mean? And uh, the relationship, building the relationships matter to me. So if I'm not working with a certain artist, it's probably because it's, it hasn't happened. And you know, I'm not forcing it. 
You know what I mean? But I, um, as of recently, I have worked with numerous artists that has taken me out of my comfort zone. You know what I mean? And um, it's it's it happens platonically, man. It happens when it when it happens. You know what I mean? So that's why I mean working with other artists has never been a big issue. It's just you know the relationship relationship thing. You know what I mean? We we both putting our words on a track. We both bringing our fan bases together, and you know, a lot of times you want to you want to be monetized and and you know you want to present it on a plate in a way. We both got different ways of how we want to present it to people, and you know what I mean, stuff like that. So I take all those variables, and you know what I mean, and that's how I end up doing. If I end up doing a feature with somebody, you, you probably know like, hey, these guys must they must be a relationship, man. Yeah, it must be a relationship there. Yeah. Um, like uh, Fresh Jones, you had him up here uh, yeah, a few so months ago. Fresh, yeah. yeah, so like him, I, we never met per se. We met in the studio one time, you know, and laid down a, 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 a few singles, actually. And um, it was just a building of a relationship. We both had the same engineer and we would cross paths. And sometimes stuff just happened like that, you know what I mean? And it's uh most for the most part I'm willing to work, period. You know what I mean? So mm, Yeah. So, you know, speaking of that, um, you know, how is like, you know, cause that well, the pandemic could throw like the work off. Um, so yeah. how was like adjusting, you know, to all that for you and I know, you know, you could tell your story and all that. Oh yeah, well, um around about this time last year, actually. Um, had a knee injury. Um, I ain't real too detailed about it, but um, had a knee injury and it set me back a little bit from, you know, what I what I like to do, which is music and and uh, work, <laughs> you know. Um, but um, adjusted, man. It's just my ba- my main thing since the pandemic started. Like even even while the pandemic was going on and we had our last interview. Um, it's just been protecting my peace, man. Protecting my energy, because without that, then you know what I mean. I'm I'm gonna be a shell of myself. You know what I mean. So um, that's my main thing. Um, the injury yes yeah, set me back, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, it made me put my head down more, focus on the things. It gave me different perspectives on you know what you're doing. You know what I mean. Like what you're actually doing. Sometimes we so into what we're doing, man. We can't even take a step back. And understand, you know what I mean? Like the moves that we're making and the not consequences per se, but you know, the consequences of anything is always a consequence or a result to anything that we do. And um it made me take my brand more serious, you know what I mean? Um the pandemic just opened my eyes to a lot, man. The energy is a is a must though. The energy is a must because uh it's nothing to do more these days but to you know sit on your phones and get on social media and trade about what you don't have you know what i mean so um i look at it i look at the pandemic more differently than i did when it first started you know what i mean so now it's like more opportunity to restart you know what i mean i look at it as a restart button for me period just with what happened and and life, you know what I mean? You get you get a second chance. You get a second chance to come back and, and get it right. You know what I mean? And that's what it's been doing for me, man. I'm feet, my foot on the pedal, you know what I mean? Yeah. Foot on the pedal, man. Yeah, so like you say, not to get too much in detail, but with everything that happened, um, you know, how is that process for you in shifting your creativity and you being able to pull from your personal experiences and throw that into the music? Man, it changed a lot musically for me because I, as all artists, I don't know if an artist going to tell you or tell anybody, like, we, like, writer's block exists. <laughs> it exists, you know what I mean? And uh, sometimes you can get in a space to where you're like, damn, did I say this before? That I, you know? So with that happening, I feel like the universe, I mean, it's just another story to tell, man. You know what I mean? It's just another story to tell, another way for me to put it, 
a different way for me to put it on the plate and present it to people. Um, it, the process, just me feeling like this, sh- like like it could be taken away from me. You know what I mean? I couldn't hit stages. I couldn't go to the studio when I wanted to. You know what I mean? All I'm doing is writing. You know what I mean? Um, it's just the feeling of that, and and having people like, dang, bro, I know you, I know you sad. I know you, you know, I know you this. I know you that. And it's like, yeah, I am. But but having people say that to me and knowing that I'm hurting because I couldn't make the music and do the music. That's what drove me to like, you know, when I am able to get back, I'm gonna give them, give everybody what they really want. You know what I mean? Including myself, which was the project I just released last month, uh, The Evolution of the Black Sheep. Yeah, so yeah, you beat me to it. I was just right there. <laughs> nice little segue, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, it's all evolution, so. Right. But yeah, so we'll get into that and how was that like, you know, creative process and you know, you get into your favorite tracks, uh, which I want to talk about in a second. All right. Um, that process, man, it was dope. It was like, sometimes you take for granted when you speak too fast. I look at the video, the interview that we did a lot first mm-hmm. time around. And I, and I look at like, and it's, it, it, it's easier for me to look at then and now, then and now, you know what I mean? So talking about the growth, the growth. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know what I mean? So, uh, I look at how I how how I enjoyed the legacy process the process of legacy, and I thought it couldn't get no bigger than that. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, but I guess just the redemption part of what had happened and being able to get get back in the studio and with all my favorite artists and just make dope stuff, man. It's a lot. Like it's sixteen tracks, I believe, fifteen tracks on it on the project and. Uh, it was more, you know, but I didn't want to, I want, I didn't want to be so redundant in a way, you know, to, to people miss my point of the whole project. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So it was a beautiful process, man. Shout out to everybody that was involved, man. Everybody, like everybody. It was people that haven't sunk, sunk seen in years and, you know what I mean? Just coming out, I'm going to do this one for you. <laughs> I'm going to, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And it was it was it was beautiful, man. Like that process, that process taught me a lot, <clears throat> especially uh, what I want to do, what I really want to say, how I want to complete a thought. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's what I that's what I look for when I get into uh, even when I critique my peers. Like, was it a complete thought? Like, did you leave me hanging in this song? Right. In a way, you know what I mean. And I learned a lot, man. I learned a lot. One of my favorite songs, um, One Stop. Um, I wrote that song just reminiscing, you know what I mean? Mm. In a way to where it's like, it felt like I said that before, but I haven't. You know what I mean? I haven't gave people me. You know what I mean? Like I say, anybody can put words together. And um, at, at at some point we all just do that. You know what I mean? We just put words together. But when you tell me your story and- It really comes from a certain something. place. It means something, yeah, it means something, man. It means yeah. something. And then to have people vibe to it and it's like, hey, I know you wasn't there, but you you vibing <laughs> like you was there, bro. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, yeah, this is the one, this is the one. Yeah. yeah, and then people can really take that and then apply it to their lives. To their and, lives and examples, yeah. Yeah, yeah. never yeah. know how it's affecting somebody. Yeah, man. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why I wanted that whole project to be just just a vibe of everyday life, pandemic mm-hmm. life, all of it. You know, I talked about it all. And um it's a special project, so check it out. Check it out. Yeah, so uh so as you say you got all them tracks, what's the, you know, I say top three that you feel in or that people should check out? Um, one stop, like I said, um, uh, I would say a one on one. I knew he was gonna go there. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people like that one. That's with me and my little brother. Um, and it's funny, a lot of people like a lot of songs that me and him do. You know what I mean? Like uh, uh, um, I know was on my last project. People like that joint, uh, peace. And I think we we should probably just go ahead and put something together. 
You know, some people some people can just rap, man. Like my little brother, he just rap, and like, bro, I ain't trying to you know be in people's stages and you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm just good at it. You know what but I mean? Got so, it. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. So it would be something to be talked about. Uh, you can put you can put one of one in there. I would say one stop, man. Man in the mirror. Shout out to Pop Play Swag. Mm. Um, that was one of the real ones. Um, mm. um, what else? What else? What else? I don't want to leave nothing out. Now, I did this before, and I had a lot of regrets. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> how did I forget this song, man? But uh, Life on the Line, man. That Let was take one. a commercial break. Yeah, right. <laughs> Life on the Line. That was one of my special ones, though. That, right. was one, that was one of the ones where when I wrote it, I really didn't see it coming out as, as the finished product as it came out. You know what I mean? I let a few friends hear it. Mm. Uh rapper, music friends, whatever. And um they reached back and wanted to be a part of it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I and they took it to another element. You know what I mean? And I never seen it coming out like that. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. Yeah, man, I like all the tracks though, man. So I don't wanna leave nobody out. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like I got a, a few quite a few features. So I don't wanna leave nobody out, man. I love every song, man. I, it, it's something you can play right through. It's mm-hmm. definitely something you can play right through. It's a vibe. I take you to church, I take you everywhere, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I take you to one stop, I take you to, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Everywhere, you know what I mean? So, um, it's a dope project. Check it out. Um, it's a few things, a few more things coming out. I released a video yesterday uh, with me and my little brother. Mm-hmm. So I released track. It's not on all platforms yet. We release it on YouTube. Oh. Um, it's called Something Different. So, go and check that out. Shout out to Young Flame, Flaming Hot Visuals. Um, they sh- they shot that one and I'm working, man. Well, yeah. Yeah, and I see. So, you know, with that type of project, I'm sure, maybe not, but you had to take the little breaks, like you said, writer's block and jump back into it. So right. how is that? Like, you get a few songs, maybe you throw a few away. Right. And then just, you know, right. um, the flow of it. Yeah, like I said, it was like, it was more than what was put up there, and I and I, you know, you got Deluxe coming soon. Straight, yeah, straight from the black sheep. <laughs> right, 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 right. You gotta, you know, sometimes less is more too, man. You know what I mean? And um, you want everything to be cohesive. I'm not saying the songs that didn't make it they ain't never coming out. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that. Um, but it's a lot more music, man. It's a lot more music. I was down for nine months. <laughs> you know, I only wrote 15 songs in nine months, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, and then with other artists and, and the collaborations that I'm starting to, you know what I mean, uh, do, it's probably gonna be real dope, man, like really, really dope. Um, mm-hmm. A few people I shouted out, man, I, I wish I could shout out a, mo- a few more, I don't wanna leave nobody out, so I wanna kinda like stop shout outs. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, I'm, a lot of dope stuff coming, man. I was telling you before we cut on, man. I was thinking doing about the pod podcast and uh, coming soon with me and a few good men. Um, just trying to expand the brand, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Expand the brand, and because music is the easy part to me, you know what I mean. It might be the hard part to some, the business part might be the easy part to some, you know what I mean. But the music part is the easy part to me, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So I want to expand the brand and get a viewers a little bit more of me. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You can't say expand, you guys just run with the evolve. Evolve. <laughs> right. Yeah. right. I can't say expand the word. Evolve. Yeah, Definitely man. gotta evolve, man, because uh it's constantly moving, man. The way the way the universe and the way it is now, man, you, you get a stop. moment. You get a moment, you mm-hmm. but you better grab it. Like grab it. Yeah. With a stranglehold, man. Like cause cause sometimes you don't get multiple moments, man. I've seen a lot of people that have moments and, you know, you just got to be ready for when the moment comes and that's why I'm preparing myself for, you know what I mean? We all should do that because you're going to get your moment, man. If, you, if you're consistent enough and you're dedicated enough, you're going to get your moment. You know, shout out to Gifted Hands, by the way. You're going to get your moment, man. You do, if you do what you love, you know, and don't call it work, people start to admire it in a way that it's relatable, you know what I mean? And people will back that, you know what I mean? You can't just wake up one day and say, I'm gonna be a rapper. And then wake up and say, I want everybody to support me. 
Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's just supposed to go like that. Mm -hmm. And you got your peers who've been doing this for years, and you know what I mean? Like, it's hard to find support when everybody's out here rapping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, some honest shit, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So you really have to be one of those ones. You have to be able to get it and get it, you know what I mean? So uh, that's what it's about for me, man. I just want to evolve. You can, and, yeah, you know what I mean? And give back, man. And if I got information, give it to the people that's coming up. You know what I mean? Same. Yeah, so with the podcast, like, how is that going to be structured? Um, uh, current events, man. Okay. Uh, talk current events. Um, Hip-hop based with current events. Um, there's a few podcasts out there like that, but I want to bring something unique from my unique fans, you know what I mean? And um, I've been asked to do it a few times. So I think it's something, I think it's something that we need. You know what I mean? And podcasting, like, it, it hasn't been out long, as people think. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So we... we, we sort of like a buzz. I, exactly. I want to I wanna be able to catch <clears throat> catch on while I can't. You know what I mean? Like, we all still learning. Everybody's still learning. Uh, that's about anything, though, like music and everything. But music is always going to kind of be the same to me. Like, the business and... You know what I mean? It's always going to kind of be the same. But when it comes to, like, the podcasting and stuff like that, you can... Not say make your own rules, but you can really, you know, make your own rules. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And um, I feel like I, I, I have a side that I can bring to that to that platform that would be, you know, uh, great for my brand and just hip hop period. You yeah. know what I mean? Just hip hop period. Yeah. Yeah. And especially like with so much going on, mm -hmm. um, like you say, it really hasn't been around. So it's like. You know, you have certain people that, you know, kind of went up there, but it's still a lot of right. other people catching up and trying to figure out, you know, what they want to listen to, mm -hmm. what type. So mm -hmm. people just waiting on more, next more day, content. More yeah. content to, to go off of. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, uh, and why not, man? I mean, if you, especially if you're doing it, like I said, you're doing it with some people that you, you trust and, you know, we sit around and podcast all day and don't even know it. You know what I mean? So, know it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So just to give my fans a different side of me, man, and um, put more of a face behind the black sheep, you know? Yeah. Yeah, dope, dope. Yeah, man. Yeah, the blaze effect. The blaze effect is yeah. all the egg. It's all under that, man. The yeah. blaze effect. Yeah. Come check out the YouTube channel, the blaze effect music channel, man. Uh, this interview other interview and more man videos it's all there man we uh I just want to do dope shit man you know what I mean I just want to continue to uh be be something in the culture like trust me when I feel like there's nothing else I can bring to the culture I'm just gonna step aside I'm mm -hmm. not one of these motherfuckers it's just gonna be in the way you know yeah. what I mean so um as long as I can do that man and feel good about it I'm good. I'm in a good spot, man. Mm -hmm. I'm in a good spot. And I appreciate you. You know what I mean? What, what you doing over here, man? You doing? You yes. had some some hitters on this show, man. Yeah. <laughs> you had some hitters on this show, man. Yeah, and that's just a, it's a product. It's a product of your work. You know what I mean? And uh, it's relationships, man. It's relationships, man. You're willing to build these relationships. You outside these council events. And, bro, you out here. You yeah, I, mean? I appreciate that. I see you. And, um, yeah. Hopefully to get you on the pod soon. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I definitely yeah, come through. You know what I mean? But that's that's basically what I want to highlight. You know what I mean? People like you, it's outside, and you know what I mean. Give a few people their flowers, man, because uh, it's a lot of them out here. It's a mm -hmm. lot of them out here, and we can't just always promote the negative. You yeah. know what I mean? There's a lot of positives going on out here. Yeah, man. Salute. You know, so yeah, I got to do the same for you. Um, just consistent consistency, yeah, yeah. longevity. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's still an ever-growing area, but it's our second interview. Yeah. You still been out here doing your thing as well. So, you know, you got to appreciate people, uh, the work and things while they're here. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm That's so, all. Yeah, Consistency, a lot more to man. get into. Consistency, man. Yeah. As long as you're consistent, man, there's no rush. Yeah. There's no rush. Because we never wake up and know when we're going to make it. You, we always are like, oh, I got to make it by. Yeah. You know what I mean? Who said it's a rush, you know what I mean? We don't know when we're gonna make it, man. But I do know that if we ever decide to stop, 
it ain't never gonna happen. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah, shout out to everybody. Just keep on grinding, man. Consistency. Yeah, capitalize on the moment and evolve. Evolve, man. Evolve. Yes, sir. Yeah, salute. Yeah, black sheep blaze. Honor and the privilege, man. Honor yeah. and the privilege. Yeah, evolution of the black sheep. Y'all go check that out. And hey, I know you're gonna be back soon. We're gonna tap yeah. in. Yeah, hey, we might tap in on some battle rap soon, man. Oh, hey. Ah, yeah. I, I we may tap in on some battle rap soon. Get into so. that. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. I've been thinking about it. Shout out to Mount Fish and Headhunters. Um, just trying to. I love hip hop, bro. You know what I mean? I love hip hop. So. That's the essence. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. Um, might gotta come outside, man. Okay. Might gotta come outside. Yeah. Until next time, man. I appreciate you. Shout out to with the waves. Yeah. Black sheep blaze. And we out. We out. I heard that one shot. I would hit her from that payphone right there by that one stop. Told her I'd be on my way home, but I just got one stop. I'm just trying to get rich, mama. And I know the street.